Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and a week ago, I had no intentions of purchasing the LG Ultrafine 4K display, but that changed after I picked up a motorized standing desk. In an effort to improve my posture and extend my lifespan, I picked up the standing desk. I then quickly realized that working with my neck bent downwards and my eyes squinting at my MacBook's display, something had to be done to remedy this situation. The LG Ultrafine 4K display is my solution. So this is a $524 monitor that features a 4K resolution stretched to 21.5 inches, delivering a 218 pixel per inch index. It features a single USB-C cable that provides up to 60 watts of charging power to your MacBook or MacBook Pro, as well as three downstream USB-C ports that offer speeds up to 480 megabits per second. There's also built-in speakers in this variant. Apple is also selling a 27-inch LG Ultrafine 5K display with slightly better specs, but it's nearly twice as expensive and I couldn't really justify the price increase. Plus, it is kind of backlogged. I don't think I would be able to receive one anytime soon. So we can unbox this display by slicing off the two pieces of tape and pulling open the flaps. After we lift off the top of the box and the protective styrofoam, we'll see the display tucked away here neatly. I was expecting the unboxing experience to be a little bit more cumbersome, but the display came out of the box very nicely. Though you can tell Apple did not design the packaging. There is additional protective plastic wrapped around the display that we'll have to remove, but once that is done, we'll see a very stealthy black display. There are some accessories included with this product, such as a USB-C cable that will be used to connect this display to your MacBook. It's pretty neat because this USB-C cable will transmit the display information and power to your MacBook simultaneously. We have a get started guide and a power cable, and we also have a back plate that can be used to mount the display to a wall. If we take a closer look at the display, we'll see fairly thin bezels and a very industrial look. There's nothing too showboaty about this display. It's very simple in function. The stand can be slid up and down, so if you're using a standing desk like myself, you can raise the display to keep your neck parallel to the display. And if you're sitting, you can lower the display. You don't have to press a button or anything, you just apply force to move it up and down. I like the design, but I'm a little bit nervous as to how long it'll last. My worst fear is that it'll start slowly sliding down on its own after some wear and tear. With that said, the display itself can also be tilted up and down, but it cannot be rotated a full 90 degrees. On the rear, we have a power port next to a USB-C port that can provide charging and data, as I mentioned earlier and there are three downstream USB-C ports that will allow you to use the display as a hub of sorts. So you can connect compatible devices to this display, which will relay information back to your monitor via the upstream port. That means if you have a MacBook like I do, you get an additional three Thunderbolt 3 ports, but you know it is important to note that uh, with the ultra-fine 4K display, these additional Thunderbolt 3 ports can only provide speeds up to 480 megabits per second. For comparison, the 5K display can provide up to 5 gigabits per second of transfer speeds and up to 85 watts of charging power compared to the 60 watts uh, provided here. With that said, all you need to do is plug the included USB-C cable into your Mac and you are good to go. You'll be able to mirror your screen or use the display as a separate monitor. And I will say the display based off first impressions looks excellent. It's just like the display on my 5K iMac, only smaller, but it offers the same pixel per inch index. What's also neat about this display is it features the P3 wide color gamut. Although my 2015 MacBook does not support it, unfortunately, colors still look very vibrant on this display, but I imagine they would look even better if I were using it with the new MacBook Pro. The ultra-fine 4K display also features its own built-in speakers that are located on the bottom of the monitor or the display. Uh, they're similar to the 5K iMac speakers, but they do sound a bit more hollow. They will be far superior to the MacBook or MacBook Pro speakers because they get so much louder. You should be able to enjoy listening to a uh, YouTube video, some music, or the occasional podcast, but you'll probably want to invest in external speakers if you care a lot about high quality audio. So the ultra-fine 4K display is $524 until the end of the year, then it increases to $699. And even at $524, this is a very expensive monitor. Since it is so new and it employs Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C, you're going to need to make sure you have a new MacBook in order to really take advantage of it or even consider picking up this monitor. If I were you, I'd only consider it if you have a new MacBook Pro. If you own a MacBook like I do, the decision becomes more complicated. You will see this display in future videos of ours as we work to create a fresh setup video and full review. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know in a comment down below. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDug.com. Thank you for watching.
feel free to give this video a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. See ya.